Happy Saturday, friends. Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Sarah Starr. I hope you're having a great, great weekend. Oh my gosh, I am on Reddit today and I was not disappointed. It, there's so much sass again today that I found previewing for sass. I am so excited. So I thought I would do a video. So we're going to be talking SAS today. We are going to be talking uh, some other things as well. But I first want to start with this photo. Now, this photo was taken on the first day. I took this uh, the first day of semi-annual sale. I think this was a year ago. Now, I do cover all the... I have been doing semi-annual sale like every year. And so if you're new to my channel, I would love if you would subscribe if you want, because I do cover so much of this. I go to the stores of semi-annual sale. I haul it. I have so much fun. I do website walkthroughs. And for us who love Bath & Body Works, semi-annual sale really is like the Super Bowl for us. So, you know, so you can see the first day of SAS, how busy it was. And it always is pretty busy. Consistent, consistently, I can't say the word, consistently throughout semi-annual sale because every day there's something it feels like new to find and or a reduction in price and it is just like such a treasure hunt. I love it. I love it. Such a thrill. Anyway, so I was on Reddit today and I'm also going to show this photo because this is a segue into the candles I'm about to show you for SAS. Now, this was a uh, I think this was a year ago. I have to look back at my videos. Now we had the blends candles that were brought out for semi-annual and it was two, you know, two or three, no, two cents. And they were blended together and it was kind of like a new idea for Bath and Body Works. Well, they're doing it again this year for SAS. Now it says fragrant BFF. F's. I thought that was so cute. It says something blend collection returns. So I guess it has been before. I don't know. Anyway, so we have the soaps also. So wondering if we're going to get blended soap again this year for particular like, so what they did is they blended different candles together and it's really, really fun. Uh, and so that I feel like was so exciting, but then they're doing it again. So here we go, friends. Oh, a closer look at one of the blends from previous years, White Gardenia and Tiki Beach. So there it is a little bit closer. There was also Pineapple Mango and Fresh Balsam, Watermelon Lemonade and Eucalyptus Mint as well, to name a few. So, okay. So again, I was on Reddit today and the Redditor shared these photos I'm about to show you. And so huge thank you to the Redditor Physical Character 3 who shared all of these blends, uh, candles, and the other new candles I'm about to show you on Reddit. I'll put a, a link in my description or in my comment section. So if you want to head over to Reddit and see these a uh, little bit closer, you can as well. But there we go, you guys. So the first one I want to show you. So again, huge thank you to Physical Character 3. Uh, we have all of these to show you. Plumeria and Sugared Lemon Zest. Oh my goodness, Plumeria. And this is, I feel like, going to be a great marriage. Um, so we have this. Now I want to show you the, you'll see there's a trend going with these candles this year for sass. Uh, there's like an ombre effect going on with the colors that match the text. So this will be pink at the top and of course yellow right here. So, oh my goodness. So I'm wondering which one is going to be stronger. I feel like, you know, that one is going to be hard one to kind of decide right now because, you know, lemon is very strong as we know. So, and plumeria also is very strong. So I'm wondering which one is going to be the louder of the two, but I am so excited. So there's the first one. Next up is in the stars and honey crisp apple. I just feel like every year gets better and better with what they bring upon with like the blends. And like, I just think this is also going to be a great marriage because it's going to be like a clean, gourmand. I just, I'm just imagining right now because, and also I love apple scents. In fact, right now I just started warming on my candle warmer next to me on my desk, the warm apple pie from previous 4th of July, you know, candles. And so it hasn't started throwing yet. And I know it's a lighter one, but the warm apple pie, I'm going to try it on my warmer now. This is brand new one. I just took the lid off. So we'll see how that goes on my warmer, but yes, in the stars and honey crisp apple. Yay. Again, we have the pink, you know, text here and then the red to kind of showcase what is what, and it really makes it stand out what notes are going to be in there. Now, I don't have a photo of the bottom of this candle and you know the price of it, but uh, I I think probably, again, I have no idea what it's going to be for the first day of SAS. I was trying to go back in my older videos and I mean, I have so many SAS walkthroughs. So I want to say, I do have a photo, let me see if I can pull it up, of the first day of SAS for 
you know, the candles that were brought out for SAS in eleven ninety five. But I think this was like a year ago. So I am guessing this is just a educated guess. I think they're probably gonna be eleven ninety five or ten ninety five. That is my educated guess for that. Okay, next up we have Hello Beautiful and Black Cherry Merlot. So they're doing like a lot of body care with like body care scents with the foodie gourmand scents this year. So I also think this is gonna be like a very like you know, clean. And then that black cherry Merlot, again, I don't know which one's going to overpower which, but sometimes that happens, you know, um, like the pineapple mango and fresh balsam. Am I getting those words confused? But that one, it was more fresh balsam than anything. So yeah, we'll see how this one turns out. But again, I can't wait to, to try this out in store. And you know, uh, we are like three weeks, less than three weeks away from semi-annual because again, it starts on June 1st. So exciting, exciting news there. Ocean and vanilla bean. Okay, I don't know if I could ever have dreamt this one. This is so cool. Okay, so we have vanilla bean here and then ocean at the top. So it looks like these are waves. I think these are waves like crashing, you know, like little waves in the ocean. And then this is almost looking like sand maybe. I don't know. But again, vanilla bean and ocean together. Now, I'm guessing that Ocean's gonna be stronger than Vanilla Bean. It's gonna be like a clean, sweet scent. We'll see, we'll see. But that's just my like first impressions of that one. Um, so yes, that one I'm gonna wanna probably get. Next up, Toasted Cinnamon Sugar. Now, trying to think back in my memory bank if we've had this before. I don't think we have. Uh, I feel like it's probably gonna smell like uh, cinnamon Toast Crunch, the cereal. So here um, they shared, the Physical Character 3 shared the scent notes for this particular candle, which is warm cinnamon, brown sugar crumble, oh my gosh, and sweet glaze. So $24.95 for that one. So we'll see how this one is, but you know, I really like this like gold, uh, you know, I know it's a little bit plain, like the candle packaging, but I really do think it's pretty cute. And it's just, you know, I mean, the scent I'm sure is gonna be amazing. I love those sugary, you know, gourmand scents. And then we have this photo here. Hibiscus Waterfalls is back <laughs> for Sass. And, you know, we have, it looks like these are going to be like crashing waves again. And then like Hibiscus Flower. I think that's a Hibiscus Flower. But there is that one. And Hibiscus Waterfalls tends to be pretty strong in my opinion. But it can change depending. Uh, or Hibiscus, you know, again, I think we've had hibiscus waterfalls. Okay, now I'm totally like second guessing myself. <laughs> Never mind me. Mahogany rose. Okay, now this one, this is going to be very like um, masculine and sweet with that rose. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to smell this one. And that is just, again, my guess. Again, I think we've had mahogany rose, but I can't remember because there's like hundreds of candles. I have to like, you know, inventory in my head, but I think, I don't, have we had this one before? Anyways, I don't remember this one. Um, I think I would, you know, if if so, yeah. So I'm thinking it's new, but we have a little rose emblem on the front, mahogany rose. And so there is that. So there are the um, pictures again that were shared on Reddit from Physical Character 3. And thank you so much. So I'm actually going to go into some more pictures from Sass. And then I'm going to talk about something else. So we have... A, quickly a, a view of the red bins. You know, the red bins are so exciting. And I can see right here, you see that friends, the 4th of July firecracker pop. So um, I did see on the SKU list for, I shared it in a previous video, a firecracker pop. So it wouldn't be this year's firecracker pop, right? For SAS, but previous year. So I hope that we do find firecracker pop at you know, at SAS for the older packaging, that would be great at, you know, 50 or 75% off. Here's a closer view of more of the blends candles. I want to throw in a couple more photos, 75% off. Here we go. The red bins again, this is kind of like, I think this is like the first couple of days of SAS. And uh, so you can see some body care on there. And then we had some little hand sanitizer sprays. I think we'll probably see I, yeah, I think I did see it on the SKU list, hand sanitizer sprays, I want to say I saw. Usually there is. And so those are always great to get at 75% off. And then here we have, again, the candle table that was $11.95. I remember this. I, it's like I could go back and remember 
being here. You know, it's so much fun to go back and see these photos. It's really, really fun. And then over here was 50% off the hand soaps, which again are on the SKU list that I shared on my last video for SAS. There are some, actually a lot of can, um, soaps for 50% off. Uh, starting for SAS. Now, $4.95, this was the front table, and eventually this goes down to 75% off or $3.95. So that's usually the historically how that runs. And then we have another closer view, uh, like a bird's eye view of it. Now, I want to also switch gears and talk about this. Okay, so the ice cream truck musical pocket back holder, of course, is like vanished from the stores, no longer available, and never even made it online, which makes me sad, like on the Bath and Body Works website. So, but I will say these are an example of some that have been sold on eBay, and I am like sticker shocked if I can tell you that. Like, okay, so this one here, I mean, I'm not surprised, but I am surprised. 20, this one sold for $29.99, plus somebody paid $6.99 shipping. Uh, that one sold on May 17th, so that sold yesterday. So these are some examples of sold ones. Now this one was like a little bundle packed here. It was $24.69 with free shipping. And then this one, I'm not, this was like an, I think you made an offer on this one, best offer accepted. But look, they were asking $1.99 for eight of them plus eight dollars in shipping so uh but that's sold but i don't know how much it's sold for so if you go on ebay you will see these there's a lot more listed of these pocket back holders and um wow right it's like really wild to see them priced so high but i know it's kind of a collector thing and i know since they're not available anymore that everybody a lot of people are wanting it and i understand why so yeah there is that and i will say i i did hear you your comments friends in my some of my videos about why you think you're you, speculating why you think these could have been pulled from the shelves you know there's many reasons why we you know we can speculate uh could have been um you know some people were saying that the hand sanitizer was falling out of it uh it could have been the music it could have been several things the key the clasp could have been i don't know the reasoning um but i will say some of you also said the music um i do agree with that one and i think the music does not match the what I thought when I played it because um, I have one right I have this one and I played it and I was like wait this doesn't really kind of sound like an ice cream truck music so maybe that's why they pulled them from the shelves I have no idea but I do agree with you on that one I think it should have been a different musical sound coming from the ice cream truck something a little bit more whimsical uh, than what it was so yeah there is that I just kind of want to show you that now heading over to the Bath and Body Works website there's a uh, till tomorrow runs through the sale. So, uh, member appreciation days, 10 off 30 with code summer fun online. Or um, if you have that code in your app, you know, for in store, but 10 off 30. So there is a couple things available online that were, I know, highly sought after, like the lemon bag that is now a, a, available online so we have the wristlet okay they're calling it a wristlet okay lemon wristlet 1995 this is so well made friends i haven't gotten it yet but i do really think it's so so adorable it has a little green leaf little zipper pull i like this beautiful it has like this vintagey blue vibe to me this color they use for the wristlet part it is just very sturdy very nicely made and for 1995 yes i, I do wish it was 1695 but yeah 1995 if you have the 10 off 30. I might still get it because I just think it's so cute in Bath and Body Works. I don't remember if it has done anything like this before. And um, there's also a couple other bags I want to show you that are available that I have shown in previous walkthroughs. We have the uh, Love Always Wins bag. It is so cute. Oh my gosh. And it's very sturdy. Like it's not flimsy. Like this this whatever it's made of is very sturdy and then I like I, I haven't tried it on you know I'm wondering is this my, like a fanny pack I'm not sure because I thought it was a crossbody but then when I see it like I saw the straps like this in store how the clasps are in the back and not like on the side so I'm wondering if this is a fanny pack and not a or is it like a crossbody I don't know I haven't tried it on so I don't know how it lays like on my body so there it is I want to show you that but very nicely made so again 1995 for that one uh, and then of course the candles are 1395 so if you you know add a candle here add a little something else there and then take that 10 off 30 it's actually pretty 
uh, good deal. I want to tell you, I've already burned through my raspberry rosé. Uh, I just finished it. I really liked it. I think I'm going to be, that's it though. I think that I'm not going to get another one unless there's like, it's that semi-annual, which I don't imagine it would be. So raspberry rosé, it was strong. I loved it. But to me, it reminded me of some of my other candles I already have. So I was like, I'm just going to like just, I enjoyed it, but I think that'll do it for me. So, and then I do want to get Firecracker Pop, Firecracker Pop, the um, candle, and of course the rest of the body care, but the candle I have to get because I did get the USA candle holder. So I'm like, I've got to have the new one to put on there. That'll look so cute. So it is $13.95 for that one. So I'm excited to get that one to add to my collection. And I did do a video on that, which I'll include in the back of this video if you'd like to see it. The double scoop candle holder, I don't see yet back online. Let's see, candle holder. So there is the USA one. Super cute, super cute. Um, I wish it was, okay, I, I, I really like it, but I wish it had a little bit more razzle dazzle to it. I still like it and I collect the candle holders, but I think it could have been, something else could have been tweaked a little bit with it to make it a little bit more razzle dazzle, okay? So anyways, I'm still very thankful I have it because I'm gonna put it uh, in my mantle, like in the front of or where I put, I decorate my house a lot for each season. So this will be very cute in my house for 4th of July. So anyways, you guys, okay. So that is going to do it for this little website walkthrough, this little SAS preview. Oh my goodness, so exciting, friends. We are just days away. Well, not days, but like less than three weeks away. <laughs> I'm being optimistic. I feel like days away, but yeah, we are getting closer and closer. So thank you again for joining me. I so appreciate it. I hope you have a great weekend, friends, and I will see you very, very soon with another video, okay? So till next time, take care and God bless you always, my friends. See you soon. Bye. See you soon, friends. Bye.